Yo, it's Major League Benji in it, bit man. Major League ballin' till I host start calling till I nigga start flogging, man. And music head got me here for the interview, man. Shit, y'all know I'm from Miami, Florida, 305, Dade County. We really don't say Florida. I really just tweeted out saying Florida. You know, we from Miami. Shoot. The reason I had done landed a spot in Atlanta here is because I had done linked up with Ali, another artist, producer, engineer that's here in Atlanta. I been I met him in Miami. And then ever since I met him, he just been kept telling me, like, bro, you need to come up here to Atlanta, bro. You will be a good fit. Like, you be working hard, everything is going to pay off if you come up here. So I just recently in January, I took my chances. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just go up there, you feel me, see what Atlanta talking about. And so far, I like it. So the, the way I met Ali, that's a crazy story. Really, I wasn't even supposed to meet Ali. It's a studio called, um, what's that studio called? Masterminds. The studio in Miami called Masterminds. I used to go to that studio a lot. And I booked the session one day, and I pulled up, and I was in the studio, and Ali pulled up. I ain't know him at the time, so he pulled up. He came in the room like, hey, bro, they booked me. So I'm like, wait, what you mean? I'm booked for this time, you feel me? So we end up dealing with it in a way to where, like, I told him, I was just like, bro, I'm finna just make a song and leave, you feel me? I ain't tripping, you feel me? Um, I ended up making a song, and he ended up hopping on the song. So he was hard. I'm like, dang, bro, hard. After that, he like, man, you don't even got to leave, bro. We in a room full of producers. We make beats and all that. Let's work. Then after that, we did that that day. The next day, we got each, we got each other number and all that that day. Then the next day, he called me like, Shoo, what you on, bro? I'm like, Shoo, I'm at the crib. You feel I'm in the hood. That boy like, Shoo, you trying to make some music? Pull up to the B&B. At the time, I ain't had no car. I ain't had no way. Like I'm like, bro, I ain't going to lie. I ain't got no way to y'all boys. Y'all too far. Them boys came and got me. You feel me? After they came and got me, that, that made me look at them boys a way different way. Like, them boys is my brothers. Like, you feel me? Like, I really rock with them boys. Well, I'm going to say the music scene in Miami, I ain't going to speak on Florida. The music scene in Miami, in Atlanta, is way different because, like, in Miami, if you blow up on one side and one side of people know you and you're known to be on one side, you're going to forever just be that guy on that side. Nobody else is going to support you. You're just going to be hood famous for real. It's a lot of people that got real talent in Miami that... Never going to get noticed because the whole city not pushing behind them. You feel me? Rather than in Atlanta. So you could just meet somebody like in a, in a room. They like your music. Hey, bro, I want to push you. Like, we going to work together up here no matter where I'm from, what I am, who I know. You feel me? People just down to work here. You feel me? It's a work ethic thing. That's it. It's a big difference with the work ethic. So, well, me, I'm an artist. And, like, I rap. I do a little bit of little melodic stuff. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm starting to get into the um the editing like for the for the like um mixtape covers and album covers and all that, you feel me? I've been touching on that because I'm real artistic, so I ain't just touching the mic. So right now I got like two different projects I'm working on. I got a project named Late Nights. That's gonna be the nearest project that's gonna drop within like a month or two. So be on the lookout for late nights. It's gonna drop. And then I got another project called uh, what is called E.T. I call it E.T. That's my baby. That's the terrestrial. There's going to be a lot of spacey vibes on there. Like, you feel me? That type of vibes. But that's the only thing I got coming up. And, you know, I'm on a lot of people projects. I lead project. I'm on 1K Guap project. C. Henny got some coming out. Major got some coming out. Country 1K. Captain Hag got some coming out. You feel me? It's a lot of people I'm working with. So I've been working. The reason that I kept going with this rap stuff like from the beginning, it's cause like, all right, I made a couple of songs or whatever. Like it's cool having music out or whatever, but it's real different when, like, you go in the studio and you make a song, and then you send it to your dogs and they sending it out, and they got people you don't even know listening to your music. You feel me? Like, you pulling up in a car, nets in, the, in, in traffic, and you looking, you see somebody listening to your song, you don't even know them from a can of paint. Like, I'm like, dang, like, maybe I do need to take this serious. Like, and then I'm getting all type of views. I woke up to, like, 40K on a song. I'm like, dang, like, I ain't even promote the song. Like, so I'm like, yeah, I got to keep going. You feel me? I ain't going to waste this. I ain't playing football no more, all this. Might as well rap, you feel me? All right, with the music, 
some weird way, I always love music. I always love music. Like, back when they had On Demand, I used to always get on On Demand and look at all the hottest artists and all that. You feel me? Like, I be looking at all the artists. You feel me? And then it was one day I made my first song. I remember the lyrics to the song and all. I made my first song on a laptop on Sound. That when SoundCloud first came out. Like, I think it was like, it had to be like 2011, like. Around that time, I I, I rap my rap name was BLU3. I used to call myself, you feel me, Blue with the three. <laughs> Cause I had the number three in football or whatever. You feel me? That was my first song. That's what led it up to that. But after that, I really started taking music serious on some like last year stuff. Because like the music just kept sounding better and better. And then my uncle even told me, like, you putting a lot of money into this. Like, what you think you finna be doing with this? Cause I ain't really care about music like that for real. I just used to make it for my own, like, my own self, like, listen to myself. But he the one who told me, like, you just can't be doing that. You putting money into it. What you going to get back out of it? You got to study this. You feel me? Do that. So I really put my, my face in the, in the books and all that. Like, all right, let me see what they talking about, YouTube, all that. All right, so from back then to now, the growth that I noticed over the time was, like, like, my confidence was just different. Like, I'm way more confident in my music. Like, I could really say anything and lay it down. You, to the point, I don't even write no more. Let me start back from that. Back then, I used to write my music, you feel me? And then go to the studio and lay it. I don't even write no more, bro. Like, I swear to God, if I try to write a song right now, I'd probably get writer's block, you feel me? I just, I'm more confident in myself. The deliverance different. The... Just everything different. Like, y'all see it for yourself. Y'all could go back in time and check the SoundCloud and all that and look at it for yourself. Like, it's the same person, but just I'm growing with it. And then the fans, they notice it too, you feel me? So they, they pushing me too. All right, I'm going to keep So you ba all right, basically all what I need when I come to the studio, I'm going to keep it 100. The one need is weed. I need some weed. If I don't smoke, I cannot rap. I do not want to rap. I'm not going to be in the mood to rap. But if we ain't got no weed, nah, I can't rap. <laughs> we ain't got no weed, I can't rap. But the other necessities, like, that would create a vibe. Like, say, for instance, we, we on a song and I, I want some uppity vibes and I want a party-type vibe. I'm going to create the vibe, you feel me? I'm going to bring some females in the studio. We gonna have liquor in the studio, you feel me? It's gonna be, you you know, it's just a vibe thing, depending on the vibe. Now, if I'm in a studio by myself and I'm working on some melodic low stuff, I'll be in the studio by myself. Just weed, I don't need nobody, you feel me? My ultimate goal with this music shit is, I'm gonna keep it 100. I ain't one of them people that's trying to get stupid, stupid, filthy rich because I understand, I really love this music shit. Like, I really, like, do this for my fun. So, as long as I can take care of my family and take care of everybody around me, pay my bills, you feel me? I ain't stressing about nothing. I'm straight, you feel me? I ain't even got to sign no big major deal. Like, I don't, care. I don't really care. There's people out here that's really got their money straight, they taking care of their peoples, and y'all don't even know them, you feel me? So, that's the type of goal that I'm on. I'm on something just get paid, make it make sense. Oh, look, that nigga Guac calling me, look. That's Guac. So, but other than that, that's it. That's all I'm trying to do. Put, spread everything. Some artists I would like to work with. See me, I'm I'm more like an open book, and lately I ain't even been listening to a lot of people, for real, so I ain't even going to sit here and lie. But I think the last person I've been listening to that I really want to feature from is J-Dot Breezy. J-Dot Breezy, I want to feature from him, because I've been listening to his music over the years, and like, his type of style is damn near my type of style type stuff. So I see what we can mesh and work together, you feel me? Uh, I'ma shout out basically the whole Slatsonville, Freak the Beat, every, all the Z, shout out to NSG Simba, shout out to that boy Rail, shout out to Zoo, shout out to everybody who pushing me, shout out to my cousin Slick, shout out to my manager Kiki, custom, custom beats, that's my managers. Shoot, shout out to everybody, bro, Major. You know, everybody that could contribute to anything that I got going on, y'all know who y'all is. You know it's dumb love. So y'all could follow me on Instagram at Major League Benji. I don't know my Twitter. I don't be on Twitter like that. Y'all fans, if y'all want to go find it, y'all could go find it. So um, Facebook, Major League Benji. I don't be on Snapchat. 
YouTube, Major League, ben everything Major League Benji, man. Y'all know it's Major League Benji, man. Major League ball until that nigga start flogging. Oh, yeah. Late nights is coming probably in another month. I ain't gonna get y'all a date because I'll be lying. But in another month, y'all gonna have late nights, you feel me? And shout out to Music Heads, man. Y'all come get y'all interview. Y'all tap in with Brody, man. We gone.